everyone welcome back to my channel welcome if you guys are new here thank you so so much for clicking on today's video this is probably going to be my last video of 2021 which is absolutely crazy hope you guys all had an amazing christmas and have an amazing new year things will go live the day before new year's eve so yeah i hope you guys all had a lovely little break I actually had a little bit of a break over Christmas. I took a few days off. I've just been recouping, just kind of relaxing and just having a bit of a pause. I feel like this job is so like, go, go, go. I was like, oh my gosh, I actually really need to kind of chill for a bit, which was really, really nice. But I have missed you guys so much. So I am back today with my what I got for Christmas video. Literally one of my favourite videos to film, I think, if not my favourite video to film. I love documenting what I get for Christmas, I love looking back on it, and I think you guys love these kind of videos as well, because my other one from last year was like my most watched video for a while. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy today's one. Um, I know this video is not everyone's cup of tea, if you guys don't really want to watch this, you don't have to. There is a lot of other videos over on my channel if you guys don't want to watch this one, but I know I personally love watching these, so... Can't wait to show you guys what I've got. I got some amazing presents. I'm so, so grateful. Um, I'm not going to show you guys absolutely everything because there's like chocolates and sweets and stuff like that. But I'm going to show you guys my, my main things and things that you guys might be interested in as well. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very excited and let's get on with it. So guys, I think I'm going to start off with my presents that Liv and Georgia picked up for me, which I'm so, so grateful for and completely and utterly obsessed with. Um, so first up, they got me this little mug. I think it's from Anthropology. Yeah, it's from Anthropology and I'm obsessed with it. It's got my initial on it. It's got a little coaster as well, which matches. And it's this really cool design. It's got a B on. I think they come in all different like letters. It's got kind of like a mosaic tile detail going on. And I just think it is so beautiful. Anthropology is literally one of my favourite shops for like homeware, decor, stuff like that. As soon as I have my own house, I'll be purchasing 99% of items for my house from there because it is just stunning. So yeah, I cannot wait to actually use this. It's been sat in the corner of my room for the past few days while I've been waiting to film this video. So thank you so much, girls. I literally cannot wait to use this. Let's have my little tea and coffee in. And they also picked me up, which was absolutely adorable, this little necklace um oh, it was a bit tangled so yeah i might be wrong or i might yeah i might be wrong i'm not sure i think georgia has one very similar to this if not the same oh sorry ignore my fake tan um but it's like this really cute little circular kind of diamonty necklace got gold hardware and i just think it is stunning i've never actually owned a necklace like this i think it's thomas sabo that also do similar kind of necklaces to this and i always look at them and i'm like oh my god they're stunning i love the colored jewels um but it's just such a thoughtful gift and it's like the january like birth sign as well so i think all of the stones or like the diamonds or whatever is in it are all to do with my birth sign the girls know obviously how much i love astrology and like star signs and stuff like that so they probably thought about that as well but it is just so so cute i cannot wait to wear it especially in like the summer months i think with like a bear when you want to wear like a little top and like a vest and kind of layer your necklaces i think it's just going to look so adorable so thank you so much guys i'm literally obsessed with those presents so guys next up i think i'm going to show you my presents from danny danny is my boyfriend if you guys are new here if you don't know um and he picked me some really really cute bits so i just thought i'd show you guys what he got me first up he got me some little Charbonnel and Walker champagne truffles, which if you guys don't know, there's kind of a little story behind it. Um, they're literally like my favourite chocolates ever. And every single Christmas without fail, he always buys me like a little box or a little kind of set of them because they are just my favourite. Like I associate them so much with Christmas and my birthday because they are just the best. It has to be the Charbonnel and Walker ones as well. They are just so yum. I need to open them and eat them because like I said, everything has just been sat in my room waiting for me to film this video. So I'm probably going to open this straight after I film this video and have a few little truffles. So yeah, that was really, really cute. We get each other every year. It's kind of like our little tradition. Um, next two little things he got me, kind of, not silly little gifts because I am obsessed with cuddly toys. As you guys will see, I've got some more as well coming up. But he got out these two little Squishmallow toys, which are just the cutest thing ever. I think they're like a craze among like young children. I mean, I love them as well, but I'm not quite sure. I think there's something like Costco, places like that, Amazon. I'll link some down below um, if you guys are interested. But they're like the cutest little soft toys. I actually have like a giant version of this as well. But to look at, I mean, they're really, really cute. But actually to feel them, they feel like memory foam. Like they're kind of like a stress ball. So I literally just sit all the time and just like play with them because they are so, so cute. I sit with them every single night. He knows how much I love toys. We always buy each other like a silly little present. I think one year I told him I used to get Sylvanian families for Christmas. Like when I was younger and I was like, oh, I miss being a child. And he bought me Sylvanian families. So 
This is like my cute little like kitty gift from him for this year. Um, another gift he got me, which I'm so excited to set up and use. I'm probably going to do this again once I film this video. Is the star projector from Amazon. Um, funny story as well. I actually purchased this for him for I think it was our anniversary last year in March. Um, and he's used it like ever since and whenever I go around his we always put it on We always just chill play music and put this projector on and it's just so cozy It basically like reflects the galaxy like up all into your room Like you literally just like lay on your ceiling like lay on your ceiling you literally lay on your bed And like on your ceiling it's just like projecting stars and stuff. It's just super cozy and I love going to sleep with things that are like bright or like noisy like I would probably sleep very well like next to a city like or a train station because i just really like that environment to sleep in so to have this will hopefully like help me sleep as well but yeah you can play music with it you can do party sound brightness and you can change like the settings of what like projector what the projector projects if that makes sense but i'll link it down below if you guys are interested oh yeah there you can see all the different things settings that it does it is so so cool i cannot wait to use it so thank you to him so much yeah, I think that's probably going to be my most used present probably out of the whole Christmas haul. And finally he picked me up my favourite night out perfume. I actually got this for, I think it was my 18th birthday a few years ago. And it was like my number one night out perfume. Like I would head out to Prism, put it on. It would always make me feel like in the mood to go out. I would just always associate it with like nights out in my local club. And I forgot about it for so long so I literally used up the little bottle like so quickly when I was younger. And then obviously because of lockdowns everything like I wasn't going out, I wasn't going out clubbing so I wasn't really using this perfume because it is quite strong. Um, but I'm so happy I have it again. We're going on nights out. I cannot wait to go out on a night out and use this again. It is really nostalgic and I just love it. It's quite a strong scent but it's like very sweet. Um, but I really love the Dior perfumes. I love the Miss Dior perfume as well. So yeah. It was very, very cute of him. So, guys, I'm now going to move on to some presents from... I think we're going to start off with my mum first. Um, and we have a white company box. Another one of my all-time favourite kind of cosy luxe brands. And my mum actually picked me up. I was like a little surprise present, actually. Usually I know every single thing I'm getting for my mum for Christmas. But she actually surprised me with this, which was so lovely. And I got these slippers, which are just the softest thing in the whole entire world. I have the white company... Um, what's it called? what's it called hot water bottle and it feels like the same as this it's like the softest fur it literally feels like incredible i have barely taken these off my feet i have actually worn these things that are in this box i've literally not taken these off my feet since i got them they are so comfy so soft and i'm just becoming like a real slipper girl like honestly just give me all the slippers because i'm loving them um and then also she got me a pair of white company pajamas which are stunning i actually this the other day with my dad and i was like giving him ideas of what to get me and i was like oh my god i love these and little did i know she already bought them for me but i have this like little gray mall pair of like button up pajamas these as you can probably tell are my favorite style of pajama to wear like the boyfriend kind of style pajama um these are super super soft and i personally get quite hot in my sleep like i literally will either sleep naked or i'll sleep with like a, like a t-shirt on or like a very thin pair of pajamas so like how i've got these on now i can't really sleep in these like i just kind of wear these as loungewear whereas these i would probably wear more to actually sleep in because they're a bit cooler a bit more breathable um i love the color as well like going into spring it's like still kind of christmasy but not like you can wear these all round so i absolutely adore these also have these really cute little bottoms as well so yeah this was so so cute okay so i'm now going to show you guys my main present from my mum sorry if i sound really easy i just sneeze again like whenever i try and get stuff out of my room i just sneeze it's literally so irritating but we have something from balenciaga and a funny story i actually picked this up when i went to the balenciaga event in i think it was like november october um but i kind of had to keep it under wraps kind of keep it a secret from you guys but i picked it out at like the personal shopping experience there and i am just obsessed with it it was kind of a i already knew what i was getting but i'm so excited that i can actually wear it and style it comment down below what you think it's going to be i feel like you can probably kind of guess from the bag oh that's really reflective um but yeah comment down below what you guys think it is da, da, da. so we have this adorable cat i think this is just the coolest thing in the whole entire world can we just take a moment i actually already have two balenciaga caps i am such a cap girl like especially kind of like designer ones i feel like i'm actually growing a collection of them i just feel like caps are the perfect way to kind of style up an outfit 
add a kind of pop of street style to anything that you wear. I love wearing them with blazers, kind of more formal outfits. I love wearing them with just like classic street style, like tracksuits and stuff like that with jeans. And like I said, I've already got two. I've got a Missoni cap as well. Um, I've got another one coming on the way from, I think it's Isabel Morant. I've got, yeah, two Balenciaga ones. But personally for me, the Balenciaga caps are the best fitting, most flattering caps, I think, out there. Um, so yeah, I'm obsessed with this one. It's very kind of like graffiti, cool street style vibe. Although I actually saw someone on an Instagram like page, like those style lux pages, where this cap with like a black dress and black boots. And I was like, oh my gosh, it is stunning. So I feel like this is just going to take me all throughout kind of winter, also into spring, summer as well with like denim. I just think it is so iconic. I will insert, I'm not going to put it on now because it's going to wreck my hair. I'm going to insert some pictures on the screen of how it looks. So I did take some pictures like at the event with it on. And I just think it is stunning. I also think it's so flattering because this front part isn't too wide. Sometimes when the caps are very wide across your head, it just looks a little bit unflattering. Whereas because this one is so narrow, I think it just looks a little bit better. But yeah, I'm utterly obsessed with this. I cannot wait to style it. You'll be seeing it a lot on the ground very, very soon. I will link it down below if you guys are interested. Although I know this was the, literally the last one that I got in the Sloan Street store. So not sure if they've restocked since, but completely obsessed thank you so much to my mom every single year she just kills it and i'm so so grateful so guys i'm now going to move on to what my dad got me like i said i'm not going to show every single thing because he got me like chocolates and sweets and like nail varnishes and stuff like that as well which are all somewhere in that drawer but i'm going to just show you one little thing he got me because i am just so obsessed so you guys know i have a complete passion for jelly cat toys like i'm fully obsessed with them i think they are the cutest oh just out the wrong way around i think they are the cutest thing in the whole entire world and these were two that i've seen recently i actually bought this one for my best friend lucy for christmas and it's so funny that my dad picked the same one so i got a little lime who is very very cute and then i also got this little crab which can we just they're so cute i literally am obsessed with them I sat with them every single night um this one was quite spenny for what it is i think it's like a collector's one maybe like a bit more of a rare one but i think they are so cute i always get dms as well saying where do you guys where do you get them from um selfridges sell them they don't have the best selection in selfridges though they do have a few some like harrods i think phoenix good place to look actually is either your local garden center or um scribbler there's like those like stationery shops have quite a lot as well i think these were actually from scribbler and where's the other place paper chase like just places like that always have them and i think the more obscure the place the better ones they have just as a little tip because if you want to hunt some jelly cats i've got these two little cuties from my dad which i've joined at my jelly cat collection and i couldn't be happier so on to my main presents from my dad the first item i have barely taken off my body and it is a north face puffer jacket um funny story about this it's actually looking really shiny on the ring light is definitely not it's quite matte in real life it's just looking really really shiny um funny story about these jackets i have always like kind of like them never really seen the value of paying like the price for them i've just kind of bought dupes in the past and my dad was like really like i want to buy something really nice for christmas what can i get you what do you need what will be like practical but also quite nice i literally were walking along london and i was like oh my god i really want a north face jacket something i would never buy for myself but i just think they look really really cool they make an outfit they're like a classic timeless jacket and within like what as i said that i literally like ordered one from asos the next day so i am obsessed i love this one it's actually like a cropped one um which is a little bit different because i did try on one in the shop which was like the full length one i think this is called the noopsy crop and then there's like the noopsy 1997 re-edition or something i can't actually remember it's all very very confusing but i adore it so much it's very very light um it's like this this crop jacket it's got north face obviously on the front and then it's also got it on the back as well um, and yeah i've got this from asos so i'll link it down below I ordered it from asos it is black as well it's looking kind of blue in the camera but it's yeah black nipsy cropped north face jacket and like i said i love it so much i feel like it's just the perfect throw on jacket with like a tracksuit with leggings if you guys are wondering about sizing like which size to get i would size up one um i'm like a typically a uk size 10 and this is a size large I ordered the medium and the large just because I was a bit worried about the fit of like which would fit better because I tried on the large in the shop in the longer one and that actually fit really well but when you go on the ASOS fit assist it's like the large is, is 14 to 16 and obviously I'm a size 10 so I would say this probably fits more like a 12 to 14 but I think just the, the overall look of the jacket looks a lot more expensive when it's a little bit bigger 
The medium fit fine, like if I, there was only the medium to pick from, I still would have got it. But the arms work very, very short on me. So yeah, if my advice, if you want to take my advice, if you want it to look a little bit more kind of like the Prada puffer, then it may be size up one size because like I said, this is a large and it's like the perfect fit. I just think the medium was a little bit short in the arms. So then my other main present for my dad is from Liberties in London with my dad. And I'd seen these rings, which I mentioned in my What I Want For Christmas video. And they are the Hot Lips by Salon rings. And I'm obsessed with them. I think they are stunning. They're kind of pricey um, for like, they're like an enamel ring and you can't get them re-enameled. So they're actually kind of a good price. But I mean, they're quite expensive for a ring. And I adored them. I was kind of like looking for inspo things to get. And I was like, I actually think they're really, really cool. But that's not something I would necessarily buy myself. But I would really, really like one. So we went to Liberties where they sold them. I tried on a few and I instantly fell in love. I was like, I knew I liked them before. But when I like tried them on and saw how they looked with my other rings, I was like, oh my gosh, I need one. Like even my dad was like, it looks so nice. And he's very like, he prefers classic things. Like he's not so much into like bright coloured kind of like things like this but even he said that oh my god it looks so expensive it looks so lovely so yeah it comes in this little box this little hot lips box and i picked up this color which is actually like the mint i think it's called the mint color but it's the glow in the dark like it glows in the dark as well so i'll put it on and show you guys but it, isn't this just the coolest thing ever i have not really seen many people with these either i feel like i'm very much on the hype before a lot of other people um, Bella Hadid's got one, Dua Lipa's got one. I actually want to get another one to go on this finger for my birthday because I just think they look so bloody cool. So yeah, I got this like mint colour, which is kind of rogue for me. I don't normally go for things in this colour. I tried on a few and this one just instantly kind of stood out to me a little bit more. I thought it would just go great with like summer, winter. It looked really great as well with all my gold jewellery. And yeah, I just think it is the coolest thing ever it just kind of makes an outfit as well like it just looks really really cool so i'll leave a link to these down below because i know i've had quite a lot of questions about like where i got it and stuff they also do like letters they also do like letters and words as well that you can get on your fingers which i linked in my other video if you guys are interested i'm obsessed but yeah thank you so much to my dad for all my lovely lovely presents i literally can't deal okay so i'm now going to move on to the present which i bought myself i feel like it's now becoming a bit of a theme that every single christmas i purchase a present from me to me this year ended up being quite a lot of things like even before christmas i bought my uggs my acne scarf my bag my tarpa bag my lentil bag anyway we get the idea but anyway i just wanted to actually buy myself something to open on christmas i was actually going to do it this year and then this bag came up it's a bag and I was like, do you know what? I need that. And I'm going to kind of treat myself to it for Christmas. So if you follow me on Instagram, you already would have seen a sneak peek of this bag. It's something which I don't have in my collection at all. Completely new brand. And as soon as I saw it online, I was like, oh my gosh, it's from We Buy Designer. It's a vintage bag. And you guys know I love We Buy Designer. And I was just scrolling one morning. I think it was like a Saturday. Like the last Saturday before Christmas. And I was like, oh my god. I'm obsessed. We're in a bit of a different position. My camera decided at the most crucial part. But leave your guesses down below which brand do you think it is? Because I just cannot. So here we have a Versace vintage bag. Can we just take a moment? I feel like this is the most me bag ever. It's very much giving me like Y2K Bratz doll vibes, which is like, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my God, I just love it. One thing I am missing in my collection is a big bag. Like I don't have many big bags because personally for me, I'm more of a mini bag girl. I love a small bag. I love kind of a bag that can be like an evening bag or a day bag. But realistically, like now we can actually live our life, go into London, stuff like that. I was really lacking a bag which I could kind of pack a jacket in, a water bottle, like an overnight like change of clothes wipes makeup stuff like that i just don't have a bag which is big enough so i saw this and i was like oh my gosh this is just gonna solve all of my issues it is from the chaos couture collection it's from 2005 which seems to be my most bought era of like vintage bags are literally all from 2005 we have like this little versace logo on the front there's like lots of badges going on like i said very very y2k it's got two pockets on the front and then it actually unzips and inside it's got like a satiny kind of lining it's really soft um and it's got so much space which is just so good so it's really soft like black kind of velvet material with an inside pocket as well 
and I was like, oh my god, I am obsessed. And when I tell you guys the price that I paid for this, you're actually going to freak because I couldn't believe it myself either. So I got this bag for eighty pounds. Eight zero, eight zero. Like no, that's it. Like eighty pounds. This cost me. So I was thinking, oh, maybe it's like a gift with purchase bag. Because I do know sometimes they can go for a little bit cheaper. I don't really care because I loved it anyway. But I've actually since found it on the runway from 2005. So I can't believe that I have managed to score myself this bag. Like, I feel like it's just very iconic. It's very like Bella Hadid vibes. Very kind of like summer Y2K 2000 vibes, which I adore. This is the back, House of Versace. And it's literally in such good condition. It's denim. You guys know I love a denim bag. And I just thought for like summer, imagine with like low waisted jeans, like a little red kind of like bralette top and this bag and some really cool like vintage sunglasses. I'm so excited. Okay, so just to finish off, I thought I would show you guys some things I bought in the sale. This is actually not something I got for Christmas. This is just something that I bought with my own money, which I got from like my grandparents and stuff yesterday yeah i bought it yesterday and i just thought i had to show you because i was just gobsmacked and i feel like my life has just been changed i went to my local flannels which is like the big department like designer store and i had a look in the kids section at the sale because i'm like a size like on top i can probably fit into a size like six to eight uk so i thought why don't i have a look i saw online that some of the tops went up to an age 16 so i was like surely that's gonna fit me because i literally am completely flat chested so i had a look i saw a few tops in there and i was like oh my god these are so cute i tried on about 12 like i tried on loads and i wasn't really expecting any of them to fit half of them were like size 12 or not even size 12 age 12 or like age 10 like ridiculous like honestly ridiculous but when i was holding them up i was like these don't look that small anyway i've managed to bag myself three designer tops all for under £100. So I feel like this is your sign. Like if you're between my kind of sizing. Or if you don't really have much of a chest. If you can fit into kids like tops. Check your local flannels. Because some of these discounts are just like unheard of. So the first one I picked up. Was this little off-white t-shirt. Kind of like a little baby t-shirt. Which I love. It's got this little like off logo at the top. It says off-white kids inside. But we'll just ignore that. And it's just really really cute. Black for like you could crop it up. Or just kind of wear it full length. And this was reduced from £115, which, to be honest, isn't that bad anyway, um, to £47. It's basically got an off-white top for, like, 45 quid, which is crazy. And, yeah, I literally love it so much. And this is an age 10. An age 10 t-shirt. But it's, like, that very, like, baby doll t-shirt fit, which I love. It's my favourite kind of, like, t-shirt to wear. Then, to continue the black i think every single top is black <laughs> let's continue the black top theme i also picked up this d d and g top which i felt like was very much vintage vibes the fabric of this is so nice as well it's really really soft and i love it it's like a plain black long sleeve top you could wear this like i said cropped up long like with a little skirt like full length with a little skirt or like leggings or you could wear it cropped up with like low waisted jeans that's probably how i would wear it um this is a 12 year old age top and this was reduced from £135 to £88, which again, crazy, amazing discount. And I adore it. I think it is so, so cool. Then the final one I picked up was this Givenchy one, which again is adorable. And it's got like kind of like velour writing on it as well. Love it. And this one was age 14, this one. And it was reduced from £130 to £65. Which, to be honest, like, you literally buy tops in Urban Outfitters for, like, £65. Like, some things I've bought from Urban have been, like, £60 to £80. So, considering I managed to get all of these three tops for under £200, it was kind of crazy. So, guys, I feel like this ended up being a really long video. Thank you so much if you have lasted this long. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing what I got for Christmas. Like I said, I'm so, so grateful. I have the best friends, family ever and i always just feel so spoiled and i'm so 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 lucky you'll see a lot of these items i'm sure very soon on my instagram but don't forget to follow me over on there if you haven't already hope you guys all have a amazing new year i'm literally filming this and uploading it in real time so you'll be seeing it like literally as i'm filming it um so yeah i hope you guys all have an amazing new year's eve tomorrow and i love you guys so much like cannot wait for 2022 big things coming and i will see you guys on my next video next year which is so crazy Bye, guys.